So to go over class composition, which is going to be an um, assignment due for this week, basically going to basically put in a, a class within a class. So the first thing I'm going to do is, for the, basically the objective for this is to make a kind of a sports team kind of scorekeeper thing. So we'll have one class that's named Team Info. And then I'll make oops, I'll make some basic information. So for the properties, we'll make them all private. We'll do private. We'll do a string. It's a team name. Private string. Um, location and then private I will just have it be these two to keep it simple and then I'm going to make a constructor which will be public team info String team name, string location. This dot location equals location. This dot um, team name equals team name. And then just to kind of speed things up in Eclipse, you can do getters and setters. So I'll do source. I can't see if I can make it so you guys can actually see it. Or I click on this. Source, getters and setters. We'll do getters and setters for both of these. I get the last member. And then I'll put getters and setters. So I made the team name information. So the next thing I'm going to make is I'll make a new class. Now it's going to be basically we'll do called the scoreboard. The scoreboard's going to have uh, the team names of plays and then each of their scores. So we'll do, let me save this file. We'll do public team name and we'll do our team info. We'll make this um, away team. The public int away score public team info home team public and um, home score. And then when we make the getter and setter, we actually have to kind of change uh, the constructor. Um, we have to change it up a little bit, so I'm adding the properties tag here. I'll make it the constructor. For the constructor, we want to have basically all the information for this. So make this public, all the scoreboard. And then we'll do. We'll do string, away team, um, name, string, away team, location, int, 
away score. And then we'll do string home team name, string home team location, and then oh, it's the next line, so it comes out a little bit better. And then we'll do int home score. And so if we send the values, we actually have to you since we can't assign the values directly to away team and home team because they are um, they're private values, so we can't directly access them. So what we'll do is we'll make away team. We'll do this dot away team equals, and we'll make a new team info where we have away team name and away team location and we'll do this dot away score equals away score I'll modify this so these lines lined up this dot home team equals new and we'll just basically do the same as we did up there. We, I cut a paste, but I'll just type it out since it's so short. Home team name, away team, or home team location, and then this dot home team home score equals home score. So we initialize this value, and then I can put for the getters and setters. I'm only going to do the getters and setters for the scores. And then basically what we have to do is assign the values separately for the ones that we have that we're basically doing composite for. So the getters and setters. And so I'll do public team info. I'll do public string get away team name and then what I'll do is I'll do away team I'll do our return away team get team name and then I can do this a cut and pay, then I'll do public void and I'll do the set away team name and then we'll do this dot away team dot set team name and then I'll just we'll do away team main and put that in there. Notice how I had a, there was a drop box and I'll show you that again. So I did set team name and then notice how in here and then it'll usually give you whatever values are local you can set in there. So I'll do away team name and this will put that value in there. So I'm going to cut and paste this for the home team stuff. So you notice I have an error here. So I'll change this to home team, home team, home team, home team, home team, and then finally home team. And then I'll do basically the same stuff to set the, to set the locations. So I'll do public get away team location and I'll do return and then notice I'll just be using the value within um, away team get team away team 
get location. And then I'll do one more for public void. And I'll do set away team location. So this value is going to be this dot away team dot set location and then this will be so I need to pass in a value here the string away team location away team location and then what I'll do is copy and paste this again and then change this to home team home team home 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 and one final home and so this will give me basically a way to access all the score all the team information scoreboard stuff and so then I also made earlier on a class composition so I'll post this again on the website or basically just kind of a driver for the program So I'll do public static main or void main string brackets rv and then I'll say home I'll do scoreboard, scoreboard equals new scoreboard and then all my information. So we'll do so. Should I forgot what the order was. So team name, location, away score. So we'll do my favorite teams of Chiefs. So we'll do Chiefs, Kansas City, and their score we'll do 64. And then since our rival, Chiefs rivals are the Broncos, We'll do Broncos, Denver, and we'll make give them give them a zero. And then I spelled scoreboard wrong. That's why I had a little tilde there. And then if I want to, I can add. I'm gonna add into this up here so you can see it. We can't see it, it's just off the menu, but you can see generate to string. So I'm going to generate just all the information. So I really can't see home or away team, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use basically these methods. So I'll use, I got scoreboards I can do, but I need to do team name, away team name, a home team name, get away location and get home team location and then bring those in and then I'll make this a two string and then so when I run this program just right click on here run as job job application and so when it runs it. I don't know why it's not running it. Oh, it run it, but I didn't print anything out. So I'll do scoreboard dot 
to string and then system dot out dot print line to string. Now when I run this, you'll see all the information associated with this. So I hope this gets you started with the uh, homework assignment number three. Or, yeah, number three, I think. And I hope you have a great evening.